Hello and welcome to our special interview session. I'm Steve, I'm a clinical educator and pharmacist at Town & Country Compounding. And today I'm joined by Viral, our esteemed Director of Pharmacy Operations. And we're here to discuss an important topic, which is ketamine clinics. They are popping up across the nation. Um, and there's a problem with uh, ensuring proper supply, but even more importantly, proper quality. So first of all, Viral, thank you for joining us. Really uh, appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Steve. Pleasure to talk about all of the shortages and challenges our ketamine prescribers are facing and yep. how talent country can help. Yep. A little bit of karma here because this is my boss. So he's usually uh, used to interviewing me. Now I'm interviewing <laughs> you. Karma. Anyway, so let's dive right in. Uh, Viral, can you tell us about the challenges ketamine clinics face, particularly with the shortages? Absolutely, Steve. So um, ketamine clinics have been uh, faced with a lot of challenges uh, during the commercial product being on shortage. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we do here at Town & Country, we have a state-of-the-art USP compliant clean room where we can compound this uh, in uh, different strengths and also in a preservative-free option that we can provide to our prescribers. Uh, but also, besides the injectable, there's also the other forms that we can compound, especially if uh, prescribers want to try different methods of delivery. One of the things that we try to do here, uh, especially with all of the regulations changing, we're trying to stay up to date, if not ahead of the curve, and making sure we're following best practices, not just what you should and should not do, but going one step further and doing uh, the utmost best practice um, in all of our labs. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of the other companies you know, with the changes, there's a lot to adapt to. But we got ahead of it. We moved locations and built a state-of-the-art facility from scratch because we knew the regulations were going to change and everything was going to get stricter. 